let's fix if 5G is missing on your iPhone. Now, if you're trying to go in and activate 5G so that you have faster cell internet capabilities and it's missing, I'm gonna walk you through some steps to get it fixed. Now, the first and easiest thing to do is make sure that your phone is compatible with 5G. So a lot of times people just say, okay, 5G is the latest network capability on AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile. So why is my phone connecting to 5G? And the reason for that sometimes is there's technology in your iPhone itself that limits that. So if I open up a web page by Apple here, it says use 5G on your iPhone. What you need, and you need an iPhone 12 or later, a carrier that supports 5G, which most of the big ones do these days, and a 5G cellular plan. So the big one is an iPhone that's 12 or later. So let's check our iPhone. Let's go into settings here. Nope, oh, I'm gonna go back. We're gonna go general and then about. And then at the very top, you can see model name here is iPhone 12. So I do have 5G on my iPhone. If you had an older iPhone, then it just won't be available. You have to upgrade to a, a newer iPhone. Now, there are a few other things that you can do if you should have 5G, but it's still missing. Let's go back here, go back again and tap on cellular. Now we're gonna tap on cell data options here and then voice and data. So this is where you should be able to toggle on that 5G status, either 5G on or 5G auto, depending on which one you want. You can read about them right down below. If this doesn't show up, there are a few different other things we can do. We're gonna just uh, tap the volume up and power button and hold those and slide to power off your phone. So turn off your phone and restart it. Sometimes this fixes and reconnects your phone to your carrier and enables 5G on your phone. Another thing that you can do is always just swipe down from the top right and we're going to toggle off Wi-Fi here and then see at the top right if it just connects to 5G automatically. So you can see mine did connect to 5G. If yours still doesn't, there are a few more steps that we can go through. Now let's go back and go back again and then go back again. So if we tap on general and then about on here, this is basically where potentially your carrier will update the network services or basically a firmware update associated with your carrier, AT&T, Sprint, or whatever. It'll push it to this screen and it'll pop up with a little message that says that you need to update that firmware and that firmware will allow you to basically connect to the 5G. So if it pops up here, then just go through those steps and update to the latest version. And if that doesn't work, let's go back and we'll go down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. And then we'll hit reset and reset network settings, the second option. So this will reset the connection between your phone and your cell provider. And a lot of times it fixes any kind of bugs associated with not having that 5G compatible. So after doing that, it'll restart your phone go back into cellular and then back into that data and you should see the 5G option. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.